Hey, what's up, players? This is Slipso from Summoner's War. And first of all, I just turned level 38. Woo! And uh, second of all, this is going to be about autoing Giants B9. Um, to show you the team I'm going to use, first of all, Lumi um, is going to be carrying the team today. She's going to be soloing the boss, boss stage. She can't solo the whole thing, actually, so uh, having good support is necessary. Um, she's going to be able to solo because she's got about 33k HP, 1.1k uh, defense, and a decent amount of speed. Her resistance, combined with her leader skill, is going to be uh, through the roof, about 110%. And her accuracy actually isn't that great. I want to get new runes for her that will have great accuracy substats so that she can finish it faster. And you'll see that the boss has a pretty high resistance. So to show you the runes I'm gonna use, uh, HP percent, uh, six star rune. Um, substats aren't too great for this one, not fitting for her. This is a good rune. Uh, defense with great substats of speed and HP. It was a pretty decent rune too, HP and defense substat percents. This is a great rune, resistance uh, plus 17 percent accuracy plus eight uh, percent is going to be really helpful for her um, HP percent decent um, I want to replace these two focus runes eventually so that's that's Lumi the rest of the team is going to be Lulu um, five star not six star she's gonna be the only six star she's actually the only six star I have so I'm not pro by any means um, and so you can beat Giants B9 even if you're not pro Lulu is going to be helping provide some heals, and her runes aren't aren't too great either. They're all plus six. I don't think she even has a five star rune. Yeah, she doesn't even have a five star rune. But the HP and defense percents are going to help her survive, and the fact that she's water and it's a fire giant. Instead of Lulu, you can also use Rena. I don't have very good luck with Epicion priests, so I don't have either Arena or a Chloe. There's that. And then Bernard is going to be a buff provider, and his runes aren't too great either. He's not even max level, neither is Bella, who's also going to be on the team. Uh, his runes are actually pretty decent, uh, this rune especially, 6 star plus 13, so with decent substats too, helping him with survivability. Shannon is actually going to be on her on our team. You can replace her with Megan if you want uh, because Megan provides an attack bar buff as well as um, some other stuff, but I just like Shannon's stuns from the despair runes uh, and her speed reduction for enemies. I mean, it's 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 just crazy. She's she's amazing. She's also going to be used for Giants B10 eventually once she levels up. And so there's our team. And uh, they're not pro. They're not too pro. Uh, Lumi's going to be carrying the team. And so let's let's auto this. Let's auto this bish. One thing you want to make sure of before you begin the boss battle is uh, make sure that the left crystal is attacked first. That's the attack crystal. Provides the attack buff. If you don't attack the left crystal first, the giant's counterattack is going to be pretty, pretty brutal. And you'll probably die. And you want to attack the crystals first when you're autoing this. I'm going to fast forward the video here to the boss battle or the mini boss battle when everyone starts to die, uh, when all my mons are going to start to die. Right now, the team's pretty stable with uh, Lulu, three healers, Lulu or Rina if you, if you have a Rina, um, Lulu, Bella and Lumi providing the heals and then Shannon and Bernard providing the buffs and debuffs. So here we are at the mini boss, and here's when my team is going to start dropping like flies. Probably starting with either Bernard or Shannon, because these golems are pretty tough, and they're immune to stun the bosses, the, the mini bosses at least. And so once they start attacking, they, they don't stop. They see that Bernard is low on health, Lulu's trying to heal him, and uh, he's he's providing some buffs to make us faster, but oh, he's down. Uh, Bernard, you'll be missed. Uh, so, so you can see there's some continuous damage on the boss from uh, Lumi's first skill, and that's, that's going to be key here, is you definitely want 
a continuous damage dealer on your team, uh, if not multiple. Um, Wind Ninja Orochi is uh, generally the B10 continuous damage dealer. For B9, it's Lumi for me. And we're almost at the boss now. This is actually the hardest stage for Lumi to solo, and if, if it was just Lumi and the rest of the team had died, she wouldn't have been able to kill that crystal by herself. But now that the crystal is already dead, she can actually solo the rest of the dungeon. That defense debuff is what really kills her. And even with 110% resist, you will get debuffed. Your defense will get debuffed and you will die. Um, that's just the way that they've made giants recently. So I'm going to skip to the boss stage now. And by the time the boss comes around, um, my entire team's probably going to die in like two hits, something like that, except for, except for Lumi. And then she's going to be soloing the rest. So we were at the boss stage, and as before, we had our settings uh, set so that our monsters would attack the left tower first, and that's what they're doing. So two hits, that's all it took to kill most of my team. But Lumi is still alive, and the reason I want to kill the left tower first is because with that attack buff, the giant's counterattack is going to do some massive amounts of damage. So before I attack the giant, I want to make sure that his counterattacks will be puny and they won't do massive amounts of damage to me. You can see that Lumi's heal is is really overpowered. Um, eh, it's it's you know it's okay. I don't want to say it's overpowered because then they might nerf it. Knock on wood, hope they don't. And that continuous damage is really important at this stage uh, because you can't really reduce the giant or the tower's HP without just with just regular damage. I mean, that's just that's just physically impossible. Uh oh, she got stunned. This looks bad. This looks bad. Oh, no, no, she healed herself. Whew, that was a close one. Oh, man, I would have had to re-record the video or something like that. Thankfully, that didn't didn't happen. But yeah, she can actually just auto the boss uh, with her stats about 95% of the time. With a few close calls here and there, like what just happened. And this is where her accuracy would be really helpful if she had higher accuracy, is the continuous damage would apply more often and the giant would die faster. Um, so that's, that's why, you know, I don't have the most pro runes, but someone who does have really pro runes could really really shine with a water sylphid like this and so now the giant's pretty much dead you can see that he, he really isn't doing that much damage um, and he just needs one more continuous damage on him and then and then he'll die you know that's the first time I've killed the giant with a regular attack literally the first time I've killed the giant with a regular attack usually he dies from continuous damage. So let's see what we got. Hey, not bad. This is this is not a bad focus rune at all. Wow, accuracy substat, defense substat, uh, flat HP. So you know it's a little bit of luck involved. But hey, this is not bad at all. I'm gonna keep keep that sucker. <laughs> 